This video is part three of a five-part series. Make sure to watch all of the videos in the series in the order shown. Wear proper personal protective equipment when cleaning in this area. Open these covers. Insert a mist vacuum cleaning jig into the mist vacuum and drag it along to force out any accumulated ink. Then use a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with ink cleaning liquid to clean the jig off. Using a new cleaning stick dampened with ink cleaning liquid, wipe off any ink deposits from the mist vacuum opening. Repeat this process for each mist vacuum. When you're done, select mist vacuums. Using a new cleaning stick dampened with ink cleaning liquid, wipe off any ink deposits from the glass. Using a new dry cleaning stick, wipe away any remaining cleaning liquid. Repeat this process for each pinning. When you're done, select Pinning. Using a spatula and a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with ink cleaning liquid, clean the glass. Repeat this process until you can run the spatula over the surface without catching any ink deposits. If the ink deposits remain, Gently remove them with a scraper, then repeat the initial cleaning process with a spatula and cloth. Repeat this process for each curing unit. When you're done, select Curing Unit 1. Using a cleaning stick dampened with ink cleaning liquid, wipe the outside of the pinning light shield then the inside, then the edge. If ink adheres to the cleaning stick, replace it with a new one. Repeat the cleaning procedure until there is no ink stuck to the cleaning stick. Remove any ink deposits or cured ink inside with a spatula. Repeat this process for each pinning light shield. When you're done, select Pinning Light Shield. Using a spatula and a polyester or nylon cloth dampened with ink cleaning liquid, clean the light shield bars. Repeat this process until you can run the spatula over the surface without catching any ink deposits. Using a new polyester or nylon cloth dampened with ink cleaning liquid, wipe the light shield bars, pinning covers, and curing unit covers. Then wipe the light shield bars, pinning covers, and curing unit covers again using a dry polyester or nylon cloth. When you're done, select light shield bars. Using a new polyester or nylon cloth dampened with ink cleaning liquid, wipe off any ink deposits from the sides of the print head. Wipe both of the long sides twice. Repeat this process for each print head until you cannot feel any foreign substances on the surface. Make sure to use a new cloth for each print head. When you're done, select head sides. Make sure there are no tools or jigs inside the press then close the covers, then select switch mode. Make sure to watch the other videos in the series.